in this video, I'm going to be breaking down one of my favorite ways to be able to defend the U trips formation in Madden 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time watching my channel, my channel is all about helping you become the best Madden player that you can possibly become through doing daily defensive and offensive tips just like this one. Now, again, this is your first time watching the channel, and if you want to get better at this game, I want to encourage you to go ahead and hit the subscribe button at the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. It's completely free to subscribe, and it allows you to be able to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies right here on my YouTube channel. All right, guys, so today we're going to be talking about my 335 wide defensive ebook. If you want to get a copy of it, I'm going to leave a link to it in the description. Um, this is my suggested way to play defense this year. It's the best defense in the game that's been proven time in and time out. Every competitive player that you will see play online will be using some variants of this defense. It's been the best defense all year for good reason. So what we're going to do as far as our zone drops is we're going to put our flats on 30, our curl flats on 10, and our hook curls on 5. Now really quick before we go any further, if you want to get the full ebook or the full defensive guide, it's going to be in the description. I'm going to leave a link to it down there for you. Um, and it's just 15 bucks for the whole ebook, the whole defense, everything you need to know about how to stop the run, how to blitz, how to uh, get locked down on the passing game, match coverage, as well as zone drops, as well as main coverage. That's all in the description. So um, anyway, today we're going to be starting with that cover four show two. And all we're going to do is we're just going to basically audible to the cover four show two. We're going to press coverage just like this right here. And one of the rules of thumb, one of the popular things that people like to do uh, from this formation is they love to be able to streak that R1 receiver or basically uh, we just have to kind of watch out for the slot. So what we're going to do is uh, we are going to simply go ahead and we are going to play um, man coverage on that slot receiver right there. So we have a man to man wherever he goes. We're going to shift our defensive line to the right and crash it out. And we're going to stand kind of right in here with our user um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to put the right of screen defensive end on a little three rec hook zone just like this right here. And then if they, whoever they motion. So for example, um, you see here, we're going to be putting this uh, square, square corner on the left side into a cloud flat. Whoever they motion, like for example, if they motion the circle receiver here, Adams, then we're just going to uh, cross man onto the square receiver just like so. And what you'll see is if they motion Adams, you know, it's not that big of a deal. As you see, the, the match coverage does really, really good. The zone drops really complement it very well, and we're able to get the sack. Now, let me show you that setup one more time. Again, we're just going to go to that cover four, show two. Our first starting point is we are going to uh, go ahead and shift the defensive line to the right. We're going to drop that defensive end on the right side into a bluff blitz, so he goes into a three red hook zone. We're going to man up the right of screen linebacker on the slot receiver there on the left side. And then from there, what I like to do is simply create a cloud flat on both sides as you can see now let's say for example they run some type of like vertical route to the circle receiver the beauty of the quarters coverage is that it is going to basically I mean, almost always will get back for a nice little swat type of situation because your cloud flats are on 30 yards they're going to run with him for a little bit so it's going to give you that margin to be able to get that guy over the top the only rule of thumb that you need to know is again if they motion somebody so let's say they motion the r1 receiver here so what we're going to do is we're going to fade uh, the square receiver and again we're going to motion that r1 receiver so you'll see this right here i'm going to motion the r1 receiver over there to create um, two different types of vertical receivers and what you're going to notice is literally we're going to play it perfectly you're going to see phenomenal coverage defense over the top they try to streak us up the seam and that inside quarter does its job the beauty of this defense is very adaptable and very flexible so this is my favorite way to defend this right now i love these 30 yard cloud flats on the outside with the inside quarters and then the next best thing that you can do is simply man up that plus one advantage on that right side now for example if they did um, if they, if the best way to beat a defense like this would be to do something like this right here, or basically we're going to streak the tight end and we're going to streak that circle receiver. You're going to see that it's going to kind of get him frozen and it does give up a bomb. What you need to know as far as how to stop that, if you're worried about that, which again, very unlikely that someone would streak their tight end, like very, very unlikely. But if they are, you know, they know what you're doing, that's fine. 
And then all you're going to want to do um, whenever you make the, your adjustments here is you're simply going to want to take that right of screen linebacker and either man him up on the slot or put him into a flat. It's up to you what you do. But this just be aware that you are going to be vulnerable um, if they decide to do some kind of like corner route from the tight end or something like that. But all in all, this is a very, very effective defense with your user alert being over the middle of the field. And those quarters do a really good job of playing different things like post routes and uh, crossing routes and, and inverted streaks and things like that. This defense is probably one of the best ways to defend this formation. When you combine this with some of the pressure schemes and some of the run defenses and some of the others, other uh, match defenses that we cover in our nickel 335 wide defensive ebook, this is the best defense in Madden 21. And so if you're sitting there and you want to get the nickel 335 wide full defensive guide, I'm going to leave that link in the description for you, and you can get that guide today for just $15. I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. And like I said, if you want to get that defensive guide, it's going to be available in the description below.